Colorado Springs to Giza, from patents to pyramid myths, buckle up because we're diving deep into the Nikola Tesla conspiracy. Turns out the Egyptian pyramids were giant power plants, and we're separating cutting-edge science from sensational fiction. Ever wondered if Tesla cracked the secret of the pyramids? Picture those ancient stones not as tombs, but as giant wireless generators, beaming invisible Earth energies across the globe. Funny thing is, Tesla's own patents never mention a single rock, yet whispers of pyramid resonance sneak through his private journals. Stick around, because this isn't just folklore. This is where Tesla's boldest science collides with the mysteries of Giza, right before our eyes. In April 1905, Nikola Tesla filed US patent number 787,412, Art of Transmitting Electrical Energy Through the Natural Mediums. Here, Tesla outlines Earth itself as a conductor, injecting currents at one pole, harvesting resonance loops, and beaming power without wires. Nowhere does he write of stone or pyramids, only high-voltage coils and tuned circuits. Tesla's 1905 patent actually lays out three clear rules to turn Earth into a power source. Tune the planet's circumference to specific radio wave fractions, use the atmosphere as a return path, and light up the ionosphere like a glowing neon blanket. These standing waves were his playground for wireless power, yet amazingly, he never once mentioned pyramids. That twist only shows up decades later in pop science books and conspiracy blogs, not in Tesla's own meticulous notes. Imagine a world where the great pyramids of Giza aren't just tombs, but colossal energy machines. According to legend, Nikola Tesla studied these ancient megaliths, believing their precise angle and the quartz-rich bedrock beneath them could capture Earth's vibrations and broadcast wireless energy worldwide. But when you flip through Tesla's lab journals, you find towering coils and roaring spark gaps. No stone blocks in sight. Let's sift through official patents, state-of-the-art scans, and eyewitness reports to separate Tesla's real breakthroughs from the dizzying pyramid hype. When Tesla filed patent 787,412 in April 1905, he proposed a bold idea, treat the entire planet as one vast conductor. He described injecting high-frequency currents into the ground at one point, catching them on the other side, and making the sky itself glow like a giant neon tube. Notice how every diagram highlights copper coils, capacitors and metal towers, never carved stone. His sketches leave no doubt, Tesla's wireless world was built from engineered components, not from pyramid blocks. Tesla specifies three critical conditions. The Earth's circumference had to match an odd fraction of a radio wavelength. Currents injected here had to reappear there, and the ionosphere itself would complete the circuit. These standing waves create hotspots of energy, ideal for his towers. All of this was based on Maxwell's theories and precise electrical measurements. Again, no mention of pyramids. The misconception arises when fringe authors retrofit his terminology onto ancient structures to fuel sensational free energy claims. By 1901, Tesla was building his great experiment at Wardenclyffe, New York, a 187-foot steel mast topped with copper to test wireless power. He picked that spot for its underground water veins and quartz-rich bedrock, features he believed would boost resonance. Blueprints revealed giant copper coils, buried grounding rings and massive transformers. There's zero hint of pyramid shapes, just a purpose-built, hand-assembled transmitter reaching for the sky. His Wardenclyffe mast was metal, modular and electrically tuned, completely at odds with the popular image of carved limestone blocks acting as giant capacitors. Conspiracy theorists often point out that both Wardenclyffe and the Great Pyramid lie near key latitudes. Wardenclyffe around 40 degrees north and Giza at 30 degrees north. They claim this wasn't coincidence but intentional design, suggesting ancient Egyptians knew electromagnetic sweet spots. Tesla's patents focus on circuit geometry and precise frequencies, not magic coordinates. Engineers build powerful transmitters from the equator to the poles without consulting ancient maps. It's an intriguing coincidence, nothing more, without any record that Egyptians planned their tombs on a global radio chart. 
Tesla also believed that buried water channels and piezoelectric granite could amplify his signals. Under pressure, quartz crystals do produce tiny electrical charges. Both Giza and Wardenclyffe share similar geology, so the story goes, but Tesla wired his quartz with coils and capacitors, controlling every spark. The pyramid's granite blocks had no wiring, no electrodes, and no test fixtures. Any natural charge in stone is measured in microvolts, far too small to light a bulb or power a motor. Real power needs real wiring. A viral myth claims the Great Pyramid resonates at 40 Hz, matching our brain's alpha waves to induce a mind-bending effect. In truth, acoustic and seismic studies show a jumble of frequencies, not a single note. And even if a dominant frequency existed, the piezoelectric voltage in granite under everyday conditions is in the microvolt range, nowhere near enough to stimulate neurons or light lamps. Tesla's coils generated millions of volts in a single spark. Stone walls simply can't rival engineered high-voltage circuits. In 2017, the Scan Pyramids project deployed muon detectors around the Queen's Chamber to peer deep inside Khufu's pyramid. Cosmic rays passing through stone create particle tracks, revealing a massive 30-meter void above the Grand Gallery. Initial headlines binged on secret chambers, but Egyptologists emphasize this space serves as a stress relief corridor, preventing collapse, not as a hidden power plant. No copper coils, no wiring, no evidence of energy machinery. Instead, it underscores the ingenuity of ancient engineers who managed immense structural loads with nothing more than stone, mortar, and millennia of architectural wisdom. Here's a CGI overlay pinpointing that 30-meter corridor. Notice the absence of any metal remnants or wiring pathways. Archaeological excavations and ground-penetrating radar confirm pure limestone composition, no copper sheathing or conductive materials. Scholars suggest these voids were intentional relieving chambers, allowing weight from the superstructure to bypass the Grand Gallery below. In other words, they're architectural solutions, not prehistoric transformers. The pyramid's engineering marvel lies in its load distribution techniques, not in harnessing Earth's electrical field for wireless power transfer. When news outlets reported a plane-sized chamber inside the Great Pyramid, social media exploded with speculation. Underground power hubs, alien artifacts, Tesla-engineered secrets. But sensational headlines often sacrifice nuance for clicks. The void's dimensions approximate a small jet, yet size alone doesn't imply purpose. Responsible reporting quickly noted expert clarifications. No artifacts found, no evidence of energy infrastructure. Contrast that with Tesla's Colorado Springs notebooks, meticulous voltage logs, coil schematics, and atmospheric spark observations. He documented each test, force applied, coil turns, capacitive top loads, quantifying every result. His goal was wireless lighting and long-distance power beaming using precisely engineered copper and steel, not carved stone. Wardenclyffe's remains echo this design, a metal mast, buried ground ring, and large spark gaps. If Tesla had planned pyramidal transmitters, we'd find blueprints or patents, yet not a single page mentions limestone or Khufu. When Tesla died in January 1943, Executive Order 9410 authorized the Office of Alien Property to secure his papers, citing wartime security. FBI agents catalogued thousands of documents, from financial records to personal letters, Conspiracy theories claim secret blueprints were hidden or destroyed, but declassified archives show most files were routine business correspondence and patent drafts. MIT physicist John G. Trump reviewed the materials and reported finding no substantial inventions beyond Tesla's public patents. If pyramid power schemes existed in Tesla's possession, they would have surfaced in those inventories or subsequent legal disputes, but they did not. Enter Majestic 12, an alleged clandestine committee formed in 1947 to control UFO and advanced technology information. Documents surfaced in the 1980s claiming MJ-12 redacted Tesla's pyramidal power research. Yet forensic linguists demonstrate these memos use anachronistic terminology and modern paper stock. The CIA and FBI officially debunked MJ-12 as 1980s forgeries, no credible link exists between Tesla's estate and UFO suppression panels. 
these fanciful dossiers gain traction in shadow government circles, but archivists and historians classify them as post-factum conspiracism, another testament to our appetite for hidden cabals and secret science. John G. Trump, a noted MIT electrical engineer, served as the executor of Tesla's estate. His 30-page report, declassified in the 1980s, concluded that while Tesla's work was pioneering, no unpublished breakthroughs warranting national security classification were found. He examined coil designs, patent drafts and personal notes, yet made no mention of pyramidal generators. Trump's credibility as a peer and scientist lends weight to this conclusion. If Tesla had secret pyramid-based power plans, they would have appeared in Trump's exhaustive review. Some conspiracy channels point to redacted telegrams and sketchbooks, implying hidden instructions for pyramid power. In truth, most redactions protect privacy, financial dealings, and correspondence with industrial backers. Archival practice routinely censors personal addresses, patent application details, and proprietary business strategies. Nothing esoteric. Scholars who accessed the full unredacted files confirm the censored passages contain mundane contractual language, not alien technology schematics. Misinterpreting standard archival redactions as proof of a cover-up illustrates how easy it is to confuse secrecy with conspiracy. Tesla's true legacy echoes today in wireless charging pads for smartphones, medical implants and electric vehicles. Resonant inductive coupling uses carefully tuned coils one in the charger, one in the device, operating at tens to hundreds of kilohertz to transfer power across centimeters. Researchers now explore mid-range and long-range beaming using microwave frequencies inspired by Tesla's early demos. This modern science validates his core principles, engineered resonance, capacitive top loads, and ground return circuits, but it unfolds within the laboratory, not beneath pyramid stones. Looking forward, space-based solar power could beam gigawatts down to Earth via microwave or laser, precisely the grand vision Tesla sketched for wireless energy. Large orbital arrays would collect sunlight uninterrupted by weather or night, converting it and transmitting it to ground stations. Engineers assess beam focusing, rectenna farms and orbital maintenance. These efforts honor Tesla's pursuit of global power distribution yet they rely on satellite technology, photovoltaics, and controlled beam dynamics, not on ancient pyramids. The future of energy demands cutting-edge engineering, rigorous testing, and transparent data, true hallmarks of Tesla's documented genius. Why do we cling to the Tesla pyramid legend? It merges two irresistible narratives, Tesla's genius and Egypt's mysteries, into a story that feels truthy. In a digital age of infinite scroll, sensational claims spread faster than careful scholarship. The promise of free, limitless energy speaks directly to our hopes and anxieties about climate change and corporate control. A world where pyramids power cities is more alluring than one where pyramids are tombs and temples built by human hands. Tesla's true legacy isn't in pyramids, but in the AC motor, radio technologies, and early wireless experiments that underpin today's power and communications networks. Wardenclyffe may have fallen short, but his coil demonstrations in Colorado Springs lit bulbs wirelessly, proof of concept that still inspires wireless charging for phones, cars, and medical implants. The fields we study now, RF energy harvesting, resonant inductive coupling, and even space-based solar power, trace back to Tesla's vision of tapping the environment's energy, legitimately documented in over 200 patents. We may never build pyramid power plants, but Tesla's dream of wireless, ubiquitous energy is no fantasy. Researchers today explore zero-wire solar arrays in orbit, microwaving power to Earth, and harvesting ambient RF energy for low-power sensors. The real frontier isn't in ancient stones, it's in cutting-edge materials, quantum devices, and global collaboration. Yet the pyramid myth reminds us, we hunger for bold visions. Tesla gave us that and more. What do you have to say about these revelations? Make sure to let us know. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching. For